what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video for any of you who are new around here my name is Blaine Evans and this is trucking life so today you are joining me in Idaho Idaho Falls Idaho to be exact so I just got parked up here at um, a recycling place or a salvage yard if you will so today we are going to be learning how to haul crushed cars so um, these ones aren't crushed as far as just flat and these ones are kind of crushed into cubes so with that being said we're going to learn how to to haul them so I've never hauled crushed cars of any sort before so we're going to learn how to make this happen but um he just said i guess these ones don't need chains i know i called on some out of colorado last week that needed 25 foot chains but they were essentially cars that are flattened but if you can see here out my passenger window so these are cars that are crushed into little squares so, and if you can see, that's the guy crushing them right there, that little, I don't even know what you would call it, little track hoe type thing, but it's on a trailer, but it's car crusher, I guess. So, he'll be pulling out the car here in a second, but it's currently crushing one in there. So, if you've never seen a car get crushed, maybe we'll film that, but, so essentially, they're just going to be loading these little squares of cars and then um, you know I've seen enough of them going down the road that you know you strap them or chain them down so and I might opt to use chains he said that we could use straps but I don't want my straps to get cut with all the bare and raw metal and sharp corners and all that kind of stuff um, oh, there it is it's pulling out a car that just got crushed but um so I don't want my straps to get ruined, you know. Maybe some of you guys that are more experienced with hauling crushed cars, you know, you guys know how to use straps to where it won't hurt them. I do have the plastic corner protectors that will protect the edges. My only issue is, you know, across the top of the load or up and down the side of the load when you hit wind, if there's any vibration, you know, to make your strap go to your strap blow around or vibrate back and forth I don't want that to hit a sharp piece of metal and end up cutting straps but so I, I have uh, 10 chains and binders that I keep on my truck and so if I have enough chains and binders to do it all I might have to throw a couple of straps in there just depending on how many I need but but if I can use all chains and binders I think that'll probably be the way that I will I'll go today but um, and then I do know once you got them on there, you know, you can't haul cars like this because of all the loose parts and stuff that might fly off of them and that kind of stuff. And so they have this roll. You can see that orange roll right there on the ground. That orange roll is essentially mesh that um, they'll roll out and then you cover the whole load with that and that will keep all the parts and bits and pieces on your trailer you hope <laughs> so all right so we are getting loaded with these cars so you can see there and then he's in one of the um i can't remember the little forklift with the extension arm can't remember what they're called I've hauled them before but I can't remember what they're called for whatever reason right now but so he doesn't have scales here I don't have scales on my trailer and so what we're thinking is we'll kind of do this pyramid theme all the way back so each one of these is about 3,000 pounds he said so you know 9 18 27 uh, 36 45 well that's about it then so 
but there you go. Sticking that one up there. So he'll get that done and then um as you can see I've been getting my binders out so have my binders ready and then we'll get some chains thrown. Okay guys. So we got this orange mesh put on as you can see. So and I don't know where oh, I was going to show you his forklift. See it just goes right onto his forklift. And so he just hooked it to the front and tied it off here and then started on the other side and just drove his forklift essentially around the load and that's what we're left with. So and then we'll throw he said to put the chains over the top and I did have enough chains so thank God for that. So we'll throw the chains over the top and then once that's done we'll have to go down and get a scale ticket. There's a truck stop. I don't know if you can see the sign about right out there. So, but I'll leave you guys here for a second. See you in a minute. All right, so we are all chained up and ready to go. So if you can see, I don't know. Sometimes I have stuff on my lens. Looks like you can see, but there we go. You know, I use my little bungees to get rid of the extra chain. But essentially, I put two chains on that one, two chains on that stack. And then this one's kind of a shorter car. Well, a couple of shorter cars and a big, long, I don't know, probably what used to be. Well, it says GMC right there. So GMC truck. So I threw, you know, one over, well, two over the big one. And then, you know, there's essentially one over that one. Two over this one, two over that one, one over this other small little Prius or whatever the hell that thing would have been. But, yep. So there we go. And then I just kind of knocked off bits and parts and shit as I went around. So I didn't film really any of the process of throwing the chains and whatnot. But as you can see, there's a bunch of mud right there. So, but that'll probably rattle off before I get to the end of this driveway. So let me fix my glasses. The sun just got in my eyes. But there you go, guys. That's hauling cars 101 I guess you could say because it's my first time so I'm definitely not a pro at it it took me a lot longer than I wanted it to to chain it down but at the end of the day we all want to be safe and make it home so I just took my time and threw the chains and whatnot and made sure they weren't bound up on this side because my binders are on the other side so I just want to make sure everything was tight definitely don't want to have any trouble at the port of entries or the scale houses so I'll show you guys the scale ticket here in a minute I'm gonna head down the truck stops literally maybe a mile away I mean I can see the sign from here so I just have to go up the road and down a little side road but so I'll show you guys the scale ticket this is 17 cars total so there's Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and then the two little ones kind of count as make up for the seventeen. But he said they're about three thousand pounds a piece, give or take. So, so hopefully it's more of the take because at forty-eight thousand pounds, if they're all three thousand pounds a piece, then that's forty. Or sorry it's 16 cars 3,000 pounds a piece that's 48,000 pounds so we have an extra one on there but like I showed you we have a couple of small ones but then we have some big ones so let me go get a weight ticket I'll show you guys we'll end this video what's up guys I'm back so it's actually the next day now I ended up uh, forgetting to film the weight ticket yesterday now I got driving obviously you remember after you start driving so anyways we are here in Denver now so uh, that's essentially the line of the trucks going into the recycling center so this is Everest Everest I'm not sure how to pronounce it but uh, recycling in Denver Colorado over on York Street is where I'm delivering to so but anyways, as you seen yesterday, we had 17 bundles 
or well 17 crushed cars essentially on the trailer they're still on the trailer I'm just about to get out and take off the chains they told me to pull over here to the side remove the chains and then I'll go get in that line right there and uh, and then they'll just get you through the line and get you unloaded so but anyways with that being said let's go over this uh, wait well scale ticket it's kind of a ticket it's just like a printed off piece of paper but this is from KJ's Travel Center in Idaho Falls Idaho so um, they're seven bucks there which I'm not sure if this is certified like um, I would imagine it is but you know how like the cat scales say they're certified uh, this didn't really say that it was certified so I'm not sure but anyways so here's my weights so with 17 uh, crushed cars on my trailer that's where we're at so 72,000 pounds total and then essentially right where I want to be as far as on my drives in my trailer so I do have a spread axle trailer so the 33,000 pounds is is fine with me so um, yeah but with that being said guys I hope you appreciated this video and uh, I will see you guys on the next one